Are you taking metformin to manage your diabetes? If so, it is empowering to be aware of certain medications and dietary choices that can interact with metformin or influence the side effects of metformin and its effectiveness. This knowledge puts you in control of your health and medication management. We will answer one of your most frequently asked questions about metformin, particularly what should be avoided while taking it to improve its effectiveness. Metformin plays a pivotal role in the treatment of type 2 diabetes, a condition characterized by elevated blood sugar levels due to the body's inability to use insulin properly. As a member of the biguanide class of medications, its primary role is to enhance the body's sensitivity to insulin, thereby facilitating more effective blood sugar management. Understanding this role can help you make informed decisions about your diabetes management. Like any other medication, metformin can cause a variety of mild and severe side effects. Some of these include hypoglycemia, a low blood glucose level, headaches, diarrhea, and a severe condition known as lactic acidosis, where the blood becomes acidic. This video is for educational purposes only, so speak to your doctor if you have any medical concerns. Now let's discuss the seven things to avoid when taking metformin. Number one, alcohol. When on metformin, moderating alcohol intake is more than a general health guideline. It's a crucial part of managing your medication's effectiveness and safety. Alcohol, by its nature, can significantly impact blood sugar levels, creating an unpredictable environment for those striving to maintain control over their diabetes. For individuals taking metformin, the stakes are raised due to the enhanced risk of developing lactic acidosis, a rare but severe condition characterized by an accumulation of lactic acid in the bloodstream faster than it can be removed. This risk is heightened when metformin and excessive alcohol are combined, particularly in situations of binge drinking or with chronic alcoholism. Alcohol's effect on liver function plays a pivotal role in this interaction. The liver is instrumental in metabolizing both alcohol and metformin, and excessive drinking can strain this vital organ, potentially hampering its ability to manage metformin levels effectively. This disruption can lead to an increased concentration of metformin in the blood, elevating the risk of adverse effects. Number two, certain diuretics. Diuretics, often called water pills, are crucial in managing fluid accumulation in the body by promoting urine production. However, for individuals on metformin therapy, the interaction between certain diuretics and this diabetes medication warrants careful consideration. Diuretics such as furosemide and hydrochlorothiazide can affect kidney function, an essential factor in metformin safe and effective processing. Since the kidneys are responsible for clearing metformin from the body, any reduction in kidney efficiency caused by these diuretics can lead to an accumulation of metformin in the bloodstream. This buildup increases the risk of adverse effects, including the potentially serious condition of lactic acidosis. In light of these interactions, it's imperative for people to openly communicate with their pharmacist about using diuretics while being treated with metformin. Number three, grapefruit and grapefruit juice. The interaction between grapefruit and metformin is a notable consideration for individuals managing diabetes with this medication. Grapefruit and its juice possess unique properties that can influence the metabolism and absorption of various drugs, including metformin. The compounds found in grapefruit can affect the enzymes in the intestines and are responsible for the breakdown and absorption of many medications. When it comes to metformin, the presence of grapefruit can lead to alterations in how the body processes this medication, potentially resulting in decreased effectiveness. In light of these considerations, it is advisable for those taking metformin to steer clear of grapefruit and grapefruit juice. While the occasional small serving may not lead to a dramatic interaction for every individual, the potential for reduced medication efficacy warrants caution. For those who enjoy citrus fruits, alternatives such as oranges and tangerines do not appear to have the same effect on drug metabolism and can be safer options. Number four, corticosteroids. Navigating the impact of corticosteroids on blood sugar management is a critical consideration for individuals taking metformin. 
These potent anti-inflammatory agents prescribed for a wide range of conditions, including arthritis, asthma, and other autoimmune diseases, have a pronounced effect on glucose levels in the body. They work by mimicking the effects of hormones your body produces naturally in your adrenal glands, which can lead to increased blood sugar levels. The interaction between corticosteroids and metformin doesn't negate the effectiveness of metformin outright, but it can complicate blood sugar control. The elevation in blood sugar levels caused by corticosteroids can make it seem that metformin is not performing its intended function. Recognizing this potential challenge is the first step in managing it effectively. Healthcare providers may propose adjustments to the metformin dosage or suggest additional or alternative strategies for blood sugar management during corticosteroid treatment. These adjustments are highly individualized considering the specific corticosteroid, its dosage, the duration of therapy, and the person's overall health and treatment goals. Number five, iodine containing contrast media. When undergoing medical imaging procedures, such as CT scans or x-rays, patients are sometimes given a special dye known as iodine-containing contrast media to improve the clarity of the images. However, this seemingly routine procedure requires additional caution for those taking metformin. The interaction between metformin and the contrast media can significantly elevate the risk of developing lactic acidosis, a severe medical condition characterized by an excess of lactic acid in the bloodstream. The primary concern revolves around the effect of the contrast media on kidney function. The kidneys play a crucial role in removing metformin from the body. When iodine-containing contrast media is introduced, it can temporarily impair kidney function, accumulating metformin in the bloodstream. This buildup increases the likelihood of lactic acidosis significantly if the kidneys cannot recover quickly or if there are pre-existing kidney issues. Number six, niacin. Niacin, also known as vitamin B3, plays an integral role in metabolic functions, specifically in lowering harmful cholesterol levels. However, its interaction with metformin, a cornerstone in diabetes management, requires careful navigation. One of the lesser known effects of niacin is its potential to elevate blood glucose levels. This reaction stands in contrast to the glucose lowering goal of metformin, presenting a paradox in the combined use of these medications for individuals with diabetes. The mechanism behind niacin's impact on blood sugar is related to its ability to interfere with glucose metabolism. While niacin effectively improves lipid profiles, its propensity to increase blood sugar levels can be counterproductive for those relying on metformin to maintain glycemic control. This interaction does not necessarily contraindicate the use of niacin in people taking metformin, but it underscores the importance of vigilant monitoring and proactive management strategies. Adjustments to the dosage of metformin or even the timing of administration relative to niacin intake may mitigate the potential impact on blood sugar control. Additionally, lifestyle interventions such as dietary modifications and increased physical activity may be recommended by your physician to enhance the person's overall metabolic profile and counterbalance the glucose-raising effect of niacin. Lastly, high glycemic foods. Integrating metformin into your diabetes management plan necessitates a thoughtful diet approach, particularly regarding high glycemic foods. These foods, including white bread, pastries, and other processed or sugary treats can swiftly elevate your blood glucose levels. This rapid increase poses a challenge to blood sugar stabilization and can diminish the efficacy of metformin's glucose lowering capabilities. Opting for a diet emphasizing low to medium glycemic index foods can help maintain steady blood glucose levels. Foods such as legumes, whole grains, and most fruits and vegetables offer nutritional benefits and support more consistent blood sugar management. Individuals taking metformin can better align their eating habits with their health goals by focusing on these dietary choices, ensuring a synergistic approach to diabetes management. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, and click on the bell icon so you never miss a video. We wish you all the best for your health and well-being.